on both reins. This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Melody. And Miss Melody is a hot and nervous kind of horse, we call her. It's hard to keep her in her body. It's just her breathing. Good, good, good. I like how you prepared for that. Take your time. Now you'll notice when she walked off, she did. you felt the disconnection. So just take a little more time when you walk off and see if you can ask her to stay with you. Soften, yep as you come down to the walk. Now notice if you're using more rain are your seat and legs. So sit in your saddle, wrap your feet around the legs. Good. Praise her. See if she'll soften a little. Now as you came down into the halt, your hands get just a little bit, just a little bit where you're not suppling her. So you just want to do it very lightly, like a tenth of a tenth of an inch type of thing. Just to sit there. Praise her. So she starts getting used to first, you know, your steps of connection. You're going to ask her to soften her jaw. Then she'll soften her pole. There. Now she's starting to give you her neck. Feel it? Yeah. That means she's giving you her back. Now your tendency, like most riders, will be to hold your inside rein too much. So just be aware of that. If her nose is up, it's your outside rein and leg. Good. There she's starting to, yeah, feel the steps changing. Take your time, take your time, take your time. Yep, as you come to the walk, did you ask if she was going to say yes to your rain? So just think, Melody. Yes, yep, yep. Melody, listen to my reins, whichever rain you're using. That's right. So soften her jaw first to the inside with your inside rein and leg. And you do it now. Now, that's when her inside hind leg is off the ground. Now, now. That's it. And then add your outside leg and rein. Now, Melody, listen to my reins. That's right. Add the half halt feeling because you want her to ride more from your seat and legs. Good. Take your time. Take your time. It's okay if she takes 20 steps to, to, to uh, come to the halt because, again, with her, this connection is totally different for her. We've only been able to do it like four times now. So if she starts, we're just warming up. If she gives you even a hint of it, praise her, because it's, it's like a miracle. Good. Take your time. I like how you've added curves to it. Take your time. Try not to let go of the opposite rein and leg that you're, that you're using. That's right. So you can bring her nose over a little bit. There you go. But try not to drop the rein. And remember to use your inside leg at the same time as you use your inside rein. Good. Praise her. Oh, that was better. See how much how much better she halted? Now she's just looking at something. So using the inside rein and leg together is the inside leg, or if it's the outside age you're using together is something that's taught by Arthur Cotis, former director of the Spanish Riding School. Take your time. Now you feel she's running through. Good. You felt her running through the aids. When you feel that, start a curve or do something different. Good. Take your time and just feel, is she connected with you? If she's not, that's when you're going to use your steps to connection and check and say, Melody, are you listening to my reins? Melody, are you, yep, point your, point your belly button in the direction you want to go. That's it. Remember the legs, your lower leg controls her back end. Good. And you can barely hear it, but uh, Trudy's actually saying, Melody, can you hear my aid or whatever she's using? Good, good. She's paying more attention to your aids now. Good. Yep, if you feel the need, you can take her up into the trot. She might relax more at the trot. This is our warm up. Good. Take your time and just feel, is she connected to you? Will she listen to you? Half halt. Feel it coming from your belly up through your, your chest. Good with your position, Trudy. And then soften and let her flow. 
So remember, you only use your aids until you get a response. Well, not until for three seconds. And then as soon as you get a response, you get lighter because that's her reward. Good. Softer on your inside rain. Melody, listen. Yep. So you'll, yep, you feel when she's ready to disconnect. That's when you're going to half halt. Breathe in. Feel it come up your solar plexus. Lift up your, yep, there you go. And praise her. Good. That's it. Take your time. Good. Good. Now when she starts losing her balance, start a curve with her. Like think shoulder four like we were doing with, with Annie. Point the front of the saddle in. Good. Good. Praise her. Take your time. Rebalance her right here with a half halt. First check your steps to connection. Make sure she's soft to your aids. Half halt. Good. Praise her. Take your time. That's it. Watch that you don't get too tight on that inside rein. Which just about everybody does. Good. I was watching a video with Charlotte Dujon. You remember her name? The one that won all the World Cups and stuff now? And so she's working with this trainer and she takes lessons like every day of the week. Guess what she does? So the trainer's like, you've got to let go a little on your inside, right? <laughs> you know, and she's taking, riding nine horses a day with a trainer and it's like, it's so cool to hear that it's not just us. Good. How's she feeling? Looking for mockingbirds? Good. That's it. Okay, now start adding the leg yield feel in because she's starting to look for mockingbirds. So leg yield her out with your inside leg and rein now. Now, now, now. That's when the inside hind is off the ground. Now. Good, good. Bring her down this way a little bit more. That's it. Good. Soften on your inside. That's it. When you feel her starting to disconnect, start a curve. That's it. With her, you're going to add a little leg yieldy feeling. Use your inside rein and leg to put her against the outside rein and leg. Praise her. Yes, you feel her balancing laterally there? Good. Here she's going to fall out a little bit, so you've got to bring her in with your outside rein and leg. Praise her. That's good. Good. Think of bringing her shoulder in a little bit. Good. Good. Nice and easy. Watch the inside rein. That's it. She's staying nice and connected with you, isn't she? Yep, every now and then she just gets a little distracted. Yep, every, she said every now and then she gets just a little bit distracted. But we expect that with her. Good, good. Remember to give when she gives. That's it. That's where you pick up your outside rein and leg. Put her back in her body. That's where you're going to get just this for a second. You're going to get a little stronger with your slowing down the front end so she stays in her body. And then you have to get soft again when she does. Melody has issues with mockingbirds is what she's looking for. And that's when she leaves her body and gets really can get really complicated. Good! Remember your outside rain when you change directions? Because she's starting to look for mockingbirds. Good, good. I liked how you asked her and then you let her release like that. That was very nice, Trudy. Good. Yep, make sure you have her focus. And then you can let her go, you know, let her go on a longer rain, but just follow it. Shorter rein on the outside. Give her a mini stretch with a half halt. So a half halt. Feel it come through your belly, up through your chest, through your shoulder blades, back into your seat. And then just release her a little bit on a mini stretch. That's it. So you half halt, mini stretch, half halt, mini stretch. 
Good. Okay, bring her to a walk. Let's do a walk break. What were you feeling with her? She's actually staying connected. Pretty nice. Um, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, with her, she's just oh, um, in and out. <laughs> with, although she might look connected, I sometimes feel the disconnection coming through her back. Maybe it doesn't show, but I can feel the tension sometimes. Yes. Oh, it, it shows, but it's nothing like it used to be. With her, it's just tension, and she just thinks that there's wild beasts. That's, she's looking for mockingbirds, so she's saying that it's tension and, and stuff. And uh, it's just a, a hot and nervous horse. They have a tendency to look at anything or look for anything. And our goal has been, it's taken, taken us several years to get her to this point. Job or bolt a little bit. Leave her so. body. Huh. Good girl.